MMA Boxing Talk here, coming at you with another video. I want to put out a video, um, basically just echoing what uh, Jeff Cotto had to say in one of his uh, one of his la latest videos. Um, awesome videos, a, a recap of this past weekend, 27 minutes, long video, but very interesting. Road work. <laughs> Shout out to Jeff Cotto though. Um, definitely subscribe to Jeff Cotto. He's got, um, you know, all of, all of, uh, the information to his awesome radio show is on his YouTube channel. So subscribe to him. If you love boxing, subscribe to Jeff Cotto. Um, and he's got the hashtag come back to boxing radio. Um, it's a radio show. It's awesome. Hashtag come back to boxing radio. Got to check it out. Um, normally on Wednesdays, but he, he does it at any time now. Sometimes they're an hour, sometimes they're, they're half an hour, uh, but you know, you can call in, and as long as you're one of the three, you know, the first three callers, you can be on the panel, so, for the whole show, just the way it works, so, uh, but it's an awesome show, um, if you're a die-hard boxing fan, you gotta check it out. This video is about, basically, um, a couple things, main thing is though, the reason statements Floyd Mayweather made um, on the fight, on the, the Pacquiao-Bradley 3, uh, the rubber match fight. Floyd Mayweather, he scored it a draw. Floyd Mayweather scored it a draw. And you know what he says? Watch it with the, with, with the mute on, with the mute turned on. Okay. Even then, Pacquiao still had two knockdowns in the fight. Two legit knockdowns in the fight. And he clearly won nine of the rounds. I mean, if I, if I really, really want to be lenient, I'll say he won eight rounds, Pacquiao, and Bradley won four. But it was, it was a 9-3 nine, nine, fight. Nine rounds to three for Manny Pacquiao. If you said, you know, ten to two for Pacquiao, that's fine. I, I'm all right with that. Um, you know, Bradley did all right. I mean, he did look great. And when Pacquiao says that's the best Bradley, you know, he's fought, um, he means that. I mean, Bradley fought a smart fight. I mean, you know, um, other than the, the knockdowns, I mean, Bradley, you know, he definitely wasn't, he did get dominated to a certain degree um, because Pacquiao, you know, was the efficient um, aggressor, the efficient aggressor. Um, so, I mean, how, how, but Bradley did fight smart um, because, you know, he, um, but he just couldn't outpoint Manny Pacquiao fighting that style. Bradley had to make it a little rougher, I think. But at the end of the day, Pacquiao looked great. Um, you know, speed was Looking awesome, very sharp. Um, he looked awesome, Manny Pacquiao. But, you know, it was relatively a close fight for, say, an average fan, you know. Uh, but w when you're scoring the rounds, I mean, it really wasn't close. It was 9-3 Pacquiao, you know. That's what I had it. That's, a, I think, a pretty accurate, you know, scoring of the, of the rounds. Um, now, Floyd Mayweather calls it a draw. Um, it's kind of, it's a joke, you know, he's a little sour bitch right now, and he's pissed off, and he doesn't want Pacquiao getting this credit, so he wants to downplay that, so the Floyd fanboys, all the, you know, and all the people that are just, you know, under the, the Mayweather spell, believing that he's this, you know, phenomenal fighter, and all this stuff, and, and, and those fanboys believe everything he says, right, in the media and all this stuff, so... They're gonna listen to all what he, they're gonna they're gonna go and tell everyone. Yeah, it was a draw. Floyd said it was a draw, so obviously it was a draw. Come on, get the fuck out of here. Um, but you know, Floyd just butt hurt. Manny had a great performance. You know, a great performance. Um, I love it. Roberto Duran says, "I don't want to see uh, Manny Pacquiao versus Canelo Alvarez. I want to see Mayweather Pacquiao rematch." Roberto Duran, all-time great. All-time great. Mike Tyson's idol. What do you think? 
I mean, personally, it's, it's a joke, it's laughable, Floyd, it's typical of Floyd, you know, making a, a controversial statement like that, um, you know, the hardcore fans, we know, we know what's up, right? So, now I, uh, the reason why I gave Jeff Cotto this that, that shout out at the beginning of the show, well, first of all, because he has a great channel and a great radio show, but I was listening to one of his videos and he was talking about uh, Paulie the Yak Malinaji and Teddy the Banshee Atlas. Um, so anyway, I'm going to play a little clip of his video here and... Um, he basically, um, he basically talks, you know, he was talking about that, and, and basically how um, Teddy Atlas and Paulie the Yak Malinaji um, are pushing this, you know, smear campaign uh, that Al Heyman's pushing, that Floyd's pushing, um, you know, smear Manny Pacquiao, and anyway, I'm going to play the video, the clip, it's about a minute, maybe two, and... Um, yeah, take have a listen here. No talking shit like bitches. Just stop it and just get in there and prove and prove. Because Paulie, you sounded like a straight bitch right after the Mayweather fight when he was like, "You see, I told you." What did you tell us? Absolutely nothing. Vitamins, cortisone shots were held from him. Get the fuck out of here. You're just on that propaganda smear campaign that Al Heyman has got you on. So that way Floyd Mayweather could look to remain the best in the business, but he's not. He's not. Real boxing fans ain't falling for it. And it's and it's very it's been happening now. Okay? It's been happening now that you can't you can't put any of these prize fighters, Floyd, Garcia, any of them motherfuckers, them non-legacy fighting niggas, you can't put any of them across the debate table, across the grades. You just can't. You know what I'm saying? Even when you compare resumes, even when you compare opposition, which is what I like to do, and when you look at opposition, it shows you who's a fucking harder fighter. You feel me? A lot. Of That's all I wanted to play from Jeff Cotto. Go subscribe to his channel if you're a boxing hardcore. Um, if you're a boxing fan getting into the sport and you want to know the truth, subscribe to Jeff Cotto. You know, check out um, his radio show. Um, you know, you got to subscribe to YTBC Student for sure. Another great, great channel. Um, just an awesome guy. You know, he was my first subscriber. Um, Jeff Cotto was my second subscriber, which is... It was fucking. Uh, it was a thrill for me at that time because when when I first made my my, my channel, um, I was already subscribed to Jeff Cotto and YTBC Student well before um, I made my channel. Right, so you know I'm just making my channel, no subscribers, a couple videos up, and then boom, YTBC Student and Jeff Cotto are my first two subscribers, and they're they're commenting on my videos. It was I was thrilled, right? Um, but check out those channels. Check out. Um, Mr. Boxing Today 2, um, it's all one word, Mr. Boxing Today, number 2, um, like, the actual number 2, um, and, shit, Phantom Boxing, um, Third Coast Boxing and MMA, um, Ayabia, Thunder Home Boxing Talk, Shady Slim. But anyway, back to Floyd though. Um, you know, what he said is right. I mean, Floyd Mayweather, putting aside, you know, all of his um, corruption in boxing, you know, having all of his A-side advantages, and I mean all not not a typical a side advantages out here we're talking going deeper you know greasing people's po the right people's pockets you know what i mean money talks money can buy you anything and 
Floyd Mayweather's connected. He's connected with Al Heyman. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into it more than that. But Floyd Mayweather is very connected. He's got tons of money. We all fucking know that. Okay, he made over 250 million dollars with all the fucking pay per view money, uh, the pay per view buys and all that stuff from Mayweather Pacquiao. Um, and then he made another like 30 million for the fucking Berto fight, which only had 400,000 views, which is terrible, um, for Floyd, of course, um, or for Pacquiao, but, um, anyway, Floyd Mayweather cannot be compared to the greats, he just can't be, how can you be compared to the all-time greats who fought all the best, all the time, you know what I mean, might have taken the odd, you know, uh, voluntary fight, um, a tune-up fight, but they would never go two or three in a row, um, or, you know, and I'm not saying Floyd's terrible, because obviously he's a great fighter, but he always picked guys that had big names that were either way too young and inexperienced like Canelo, or... Guys that were over the hill, just not, or just not at their best, not at their peak. In Pacquiao was a, a case, you know, he waited six years to fight him. Um, I mean, let's be honest here. After Manny Pacquiao absolutely demolished and made Oscar De La Hoya quit on the stool in 2008, the next fight should have been Pacquiao Mayweather because Mayweather had just beat. Oscar De La Hoya the year before in 2007 Pac and, and it was a split decision Mayweather Oscar De La Hoya in 2007 was a split decision okay so don't fucking tell me that the next year Pacquiao makes De La Hoya quit on the stool the third that, that, that Mayweather and Pacquiao is not the biggest fight Pacquiao would have been the favorite at that point obviously he was the favorite at that point um, and he would have been if that fight was made in 2009. And the fight happened in 2015. So do the math. Six years. You know, okay, boxing, understand. Uh, you work out the kinks, everything. 2010, let's say. But that's still five years, Mayweather fucking put it off. And we're talking about him ducking and dodging and avoiding a smaller man. A man who has less reach, and who is shorter than Floyd Mayweather. Like, think about that for two seconds. Um, he's ducking a smaller man that came up at lower weight classes, and what he did is he wanted to fucking say that, you know, Pacquiao fucking went up all those divisions because he's on steroids. Well, Floyd's a little bit bigger, and he started... I think only 8 pounds, like Floyd started his career at 130, Pacquiao I believe it was 122 I believe it was, so 8 pounds different, they're about 2 inches different in height, Um. well then if you're saying Pacquiao did it, just because he did it quicker, that doesn't mean anything, <laughs> he, he didn't, when he fucking, he was just going, doing his own thing, and then all of a sudden, he started becoming more popular, and he started getting the bigger fights with the bigger guys, so then all of a sudden, he put on all that weight. Floyd did it naturally, and he did it the bitch pussy way. He fucking went division, division, picking off the weakest champion, the weakest link. Let me grab his belt, not fight any of my mandatories, not fight the guys, not fight the, the fights that the fans wanted to see at that time. 2006, Floyd Mayweather goes up to, you know, he goes up to 147. Does he fight Shane Mosley? Does he fight an undefeated, primed Miguel Cotto? Does he fight a Paul Williams? Does he fight fucking Antonio Margarito? No, 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 he doesn't do that. He fights Baldemir, and who else did he fight in 2006? Fuck. I can't even remember. But obviously, if I can't remember, it's not a good sign. Um, a little bit before that, 2004. 2004, he could have fought an undefeated, undis or 
an undisputed, I can't, undisputed for sure, Costa Zoo at 140 could have been the undisputed champion, at, a lineal undisputed champion at 140. Doesn't take that fight. He fights Chop Chop, Demarcus Corley. Um, I mean, and he had he 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 was in trouble for a bit of that fight. You know, it, he he won it. My unanimous decision, of course, but um, what's his, Corley gave him some problems a little bit, not much, but a little bit, he, anyway, it's ridiculous, it's ridiculous, and there's more guys, so how can Floyd be compared to some of the greatest of all time, if he's got about 15 to 20 fighters that he should have fought, um, you know, at a certain, just period, and... You know, he should have fought all these guys, and he didn't. If you, you know, certain fighters, you know, they might have one or maybe two guys in their career that people wanted to see them fight, but they never ended up doing it. But Floyd's got, like, 15 because he went from 130 to 154, so he moved up tons of divisions, but ducked and dodged the whole way and had was smart, fought big names, but not at their best. And the true... Hardcore fans, they know that. They know the difference. And Manny Pacquiao is proof in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding with Manny Pacquiao because Manny Pacquiao has fought at least a dozen fighters who were pound for pound top 10 in the world when Manny, Manny Pacquiao fought them. So every time Manny Pacquiao fought Pretty well, it was against a top 10 fighter in the world. In the world. Not just in his division. In the world. Okay? 